What's up folks, welcome back to another video where we are going to build an entire Merge Stack application from scratch and all the way get it to Heroku. If this is your first time on this channel, this is where we help you become a full stack developer. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and we'll be right with you after the pause. Now, before we start, let's do a quick review of the last video. If you haven't watched it yet, definitely check it out. Now, what we did in the last video is we technically set up everything using the Create React app. And we kind of go ahead and we have this React app that looks like this. Second, we also went ahead and created a couple of things here. Number one, we created our package.json that includes a total of five different packages that we're going to use for this entire series. And then we go inside our server folder. We kind of go ahead and import four of these packages. We define a couple of things here. We go ahead and initialize our express application. We set up our port. We configure Morgan, which we clearly explained in the last video. And then we also configure a couple routes and we start our server. And this is very simple, basic that we've done in the last video. If you haven't watched it yet, definitely check it out. But in this video, what we're going to focus on, we're going to try to come up with a way because right now what we're doing is we're running these two application in two different terminals. What we want to do is we want to come up with a way where we can run both of the application, a react application and the server, both with just one command. That's what we want to be able to do in this video. Before we do that, I would highly recommend you go ahead into NPM, search this package called node modem. We're going to use it throughout this video. And what it does is you, you can install it globally here and what it does for you is every single time that you make a new change for example if I change something here such as test I don't need to stop my server and we start it again all I can do is I can just stop the word node mode and that's gonna go ahead and we start my server every single time that I make a new change and there you go you see now my server automatically got we start so if you don't have that definitely check it out we're going to use this one in this video so how can we run both of the application in just one command. I'm going to go here and stop my server. I'm also going to go here and stop the client, the React application here as well. So in order for me to do this, I'm going to go to NPM and search for a package call concurrently. And concurrently, what's going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to run multiple command concurrently inside my terminal. So for example, instead of having to do NPM run and then do this again with just one command, I can go ahead and run something concurrently inside my terminal. Now the documentation is very basic. All you have to do is you can understand why they come up with this, how to install it and how to use it and how you can even use it automatically into your code. But what we're going to focus on is the usage of this. And the way we're going to use it is we're going to use it inside our packet.json. So I'm going to copy this command, go back to wherever I have my packet.json. I'm going to go here and comma and paste this one right there. So here I'm going to go here and edit this one. I'm going to start this one to be the one that start my node server that yes, again, you definitely need to have node mode. If you do not have node mode, you can just type the word node. But for me, I have node mode. I'm just going to go here and use node mode instead. Second command is this is how we're going to run our front end application. For that, I'm going to write a simple script. I'm going to call this one client. I'm going to go here and run that script. What I'm going to do inside the script is I'm going to go inside a client folder. Once I am inside a client folder, I'm going to go here and run that command. So what that means is inside our client folder, inside this client folder, that's where I'm going to actually go ahead and run that command in order for me to start the React application. All right. So again, all this is, this is called NPM script. This is where you can run different script that allows you to do certain things for your application. So once I have that script called client, I'm going to go here inside the second command. I'm going to run this second command here called NPM run client. And ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, this is everything you need to do in order to combine it into. And what I'm going to do is instead of naming this one start, I'm going to name this one something called dev in order for this to run all our local environment together. So once I have this, all I need to do now is go inside my terminal and run npm run dev. And ladies and gentlemen, that should start both of them at the same time. You look at that, it goes inside the client folder and it does npm start it. It also serves our server as well. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, we got both of them working at the same time inside just one terminal. So if I go here, refresh this one, there you go. This is my React application. And if I go here, this is my server, refresh it, and my server is running on port 
8080 in my React application is running on port 3000, which is fantastic. Now, the way that they're running is right now, I can't really tell which one is my client and which one is my server. So within Concordly itself, there's a way that you can actually add some sort of naming prefix to them. So one example is if I scroll all the way down, wherever we have all this list of options and command that we can run. So the one I'm going to use is I'm going to use this flag. And what that is, is I'm going to go wherever I have the concurrently. I'm going to go here and add that flag. It's called, it's called N. So if we go back inside this command is either we can do dash N or dash dash name. I'm going to use dash N and here I'm going to use single quote and then the first one to be server and the second one to be client. And what that means is the first command is going to be the server. The second one is going to be the client. And if I save that and start my server again, and if I run it again one more time, and there we go. Now I can see that this command is for the client and this one itself is for the server. Again, you can feel free to mess around with all the option. What I would use is something called color. And what that means is I can come here right again. I can write a color for different one. I can say the server one is going to be red and the client one is going to be green. Something for me to differentiate them both together. And if I start my server again and run it, and now I can see my server is red and my client is in green. And ladies and gentlemen, that was concurrently. There's still so much more that you can do with it. Feel free to kind of go ahead and explore it at your own leisure. But for the sake of this, we're going to keep this one simple with all this command that we have now available for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was concurrently. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and configure our package and start using it into our project. So see you guys in the next video. Thank you.